All right, so we are learning about our artist of the month, which is Romero Brito, who loves thick black lines and lots of colors and patterns. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to draw an elephant. So the first thing we're gonna do is we are gonna start with a large shape right here in the middle that is going to be the ear. And the ear is going to be a shape that's almost like a backward C. Kind of like that. It's all right if yours comes to a point or if yours is a little bit more rounded. Does not have to look exactly like mine. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a shape that's kind of like a kind of a funky letter S because it's gonna be the top of the head down to the trunk. And don't forget at any time during this video, if you need to pause it or watch it again, you can. So I'm gonna start from the ear and I'm gonna go over the head, down the trunk, up the trunk. See how that's kind of a letter S? It's got a really big top, comes down and curves at the bottom. So that is the head and trunk. We need to do the rest of the trunk. So I'm gonna curve a little line at the top there, like a really small little frown line. And then I'm gonna follow my trunk back up there. And if you want, you could add a little triangle for a tusk or something like that if you would like to. My elephant needs an eye so he can see. I know a lot of you have your own way of drawing eyes. You can draw an eye any way that you want. Since we're seeing this elephant from the side, we're only gonna show one eye because you can only see one eye when you're looking at something from the side. And I like to draw eyes by drawing an oval with a circle colored in. Here we go. All right, now we need our elephant body. I'm just gonna do a big, curved back and bottom because elephants are large just like that and elephants also have really thick and large legs so i'm going to go from the bottom down over up and if i go back over by the head it's going to be the same thing where i go down over up and all that's left in the middle is his tummy. And if you wanna show that there's legs behind, to show he has four legs, you can do a little line there, line there. Elephants do have a tail, so I'm gonna add a little tail coming out the back. All right, so here's our elephant, and because we're studying Romero Brito, he breaks up his animals into smaller shapes. So you can leave it just like this, or if you want to draw a few straight lines, just going through your elephant, you can do that. You do not have to. And I'm also gonna add some lines going behind my elephant. And I'm gonna speed up this video so that you can see what I do inside all of these different sections because I'm gonna add bright colors and shapes and all kinds of things. So I'll speed up the video so you can see. These are extra things you don't have to add to yours. You do not have to draw the lines inside the elephant, but you can if you want to.